going to demonstrate how to use Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is a web browser provided by Microsoft, but it has lots of useful functions for you as students, particularly if you have lots of reading to do and you prefer to listen to documents um, or to listen and read as you go along. So firstly, in downloading um, Microsoft Edge, you can go to this web page as seen at the top of your screen and then click on Download Edge. It will bring you to this drop down menu, which will give you different options. So if you click the blue button, it will allow you to download Microsoft Edge for Mac OS. But then on the drop down, it has other available platforms, so you can click one of those instead. Once you've downloaded it, your Microsoft Edge will um, load and it will look like this. You can use it like a normal browser, but you can also use it to listen or, and to annotate documents that you might already have saved. So as an example, if I go to my documents, and I click on this one. So either I can right click if I have a mouse or I might use both fingers and click it if I'm using the trackpad. Rather than clicking open, I'll click open with. You'll see my default on my Mac computer is preview. Um, so I need to scroll down and click Microsoft Edge. Um, and then I can open it like this. Now, um, what's important about this is that this is saved as a PDF document. So if you're struggling to open other types of documents, um, then try exporting them as a PDF and seeing if that works for you instead. So you can see on this toolbar that we have various different options um, for, for example, annotating the document, to read aloud the document, just click the read aloud button at the top um, and it will uh, start reading it to you. I've just paused it there um, before it starts to show you that you have various different voice options that you can choose from. So the default that it has set for me is Microsoft Sonia Online Natural English United Kingdom. Um, so that allows me to listen to a female voice in an English accent. Um, I can use this slider here to navigate the speed of the voice, but it just sounds more natural than the voice provided in Microsoft Word. So if you struggle to listen to the perhaps more robotic sound of the Microsoft Word read aloud function, then this might provide a useful alternative for you. It's useful for uh, listening to documents that perhaps you don't have time to read or maybe you don't have the energy to read or you're struggling to read. But it's also useful when you're proofreading essays because sometimes you can miss your own mistakes when you've read your work over and over again. To have it read to you and to be able to scan the work as you go along, you'll be able to pick up on any typos or anything that you think might need changing.